Today, we're talking about something really exciting. The Z790 motherboards. These are top-of-the-line motherboards that have everyone talking. Are they as good as they say? What sets them apart? Which is the best one for you? We're going to answer all these questions. We'll look at speed, special features, costs, and which parts work well with these boards. Whether you're a serious gamer, a digital artist, or just love tech, and want to give your computer a boost, this video is for you. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. You can find the links to all the discussed motherboards in the description. Starting our list with Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero. The ROG brand holds a special place in the hearts of gamers, and rightly so. Asus has delivered fantastic hardware one generation after the other under its Republic of Gamers portfolio, and continues that legacy with the ROG Maximus Z790 Hero. This board is feature-packed to the brim. The board features two PCIe 5.0x16 slots and one Hyper M2 slot that supports PCIe Gen 5 SSDs, something most other Z790 motherboards don't offer. You also get DDR5 support, Wi-Fi 6E, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, support up to 40 gigabytes per second bi-directional data transfer, and more than enough I.O. internally and on the rear. Oh, and if you fancy some overclocking action, Rod Maximus Z790 Hero has your back. It features dual Pro Cool 2 power connectors and a solid VRM, with 20 plus 1 power stages and beefy heatsinks, which can power the higher-end 13th Gen Intel CPUs even when overclocked. There are multiple fan headers on the board and excellent support for water cooling hardware. Here, Asus has implemented dual water temperature headers and a flow rate header that allow you to track coolant temps and the flow rate of your custom loop using their Armory Crate software. This premium Z790 motherboard also features a couple of neat software tricks, such as AI overclocking and AI cooling too, which are one-click solutions that you will find especially useful if you want performance gains without tinkering with the BIOS. It's an expensive motherboard, there are no doubts about it, but it's a no-compromise option. It has all the fancy bells and whistles, it looks great, and the overclocking support is second to none. At number 2, it's Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master. The Z790 Aorus Master is a big boy motherboard in its price, feature set, and size. This is an EATX board. Case compatibility may be an issue here, but if your current PC case supports the EATX form factor, you're in for a treat. The Z790 Aorus Master can handle a maximum of 128GB of DDR5 RAM up to a staggering 8,000 mega transfers per second and above, overclocked of course. Plus, it comes with a bunch of smart overclocking features, such as the optimization mode, instant 6GHz, spec enhanced mode, and E-Core disable. The optimization mode allows 13th Gen Intel CPUs to run all cores at higher clock speeds without throttling. Instant 6 gave her to BIOS setting that lets you run your i9-13900KKF, i7-13700K, or 13700KF at 6 GHz and beyond. Spec Enhanced Mode allows 13th Gen Intel CPUs to balance high performance and low temps. An E-Core Disable allocates CPU resources to the P-Cores for increased performance with lower power consumption. The Z790 AORES Master is an overclocking-friendly board. If the OC features did not convince you, the motherboard VRM will. With its 20 plus 1 plus 2 phase design and beefy VR heatsinks, overclocking even the most power-hungry CPUs while keeping things cool is an easily achievable feat. The board features solid connectivity options including support for 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN, Wi-Fi 6E, 5 M2 slots, 6 SATA ports, ample fan headers, more USB ports than you know what to do with, and DP 1.4. The only downside is the lack of support for USB 4.0 per Thunderbolt. The board also shines in the looks department with tasteful lighting and an industrial aesthetic. It's definitely an eye-catcher, so overall a highly recommended motherboard. At number 3 is Asus ROG Strix Z790i Gaming Wi-Fi Motherboard. The ROG Strix Z790i Gaming Wi-Fi Motherboard cuts down on size, not features. You get two DIMM slots with support for a maximum of 64GB DDR5 memory up to 7600MHz, a PCIe 5.0x16 slot for your graphics card, one A2 slot with PCIe Gen 5 speeds, another M2 with PCIe Gen 4 speeds, two X SATA ports, and two X Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports for dual bidirectional fast data transfer. Oh, and there's Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 built right into the board, with support for 2.5 GB Ethernet LAN. Like the much more expensive Rod Maximus Z790 Hero, 
The ROG Strix Z790 i gaming board also features an 8-pin and Procool EU power connector for the CPU. The VRNs are also high quality, featuring 10 plus 1 power stages rated at 105A, more than enough to power 13th gen CPUs smoothly. Asus's smart AI overclocking and AI cooling functionality also make their way into this motherboard, making it easy to overclock your configuration and squeeze the most performance out of it. If you are considering going the mini ITX way for your new 13th gen Intel build, you cannot go wrong with the Asus ROG Strix Z790 a gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. It's a top-notch board that, despite its smaller form factor, packs one hell of a punch. At number 4 is MSI MAG Z790 Tomahawk motherboard. The MSI Tomahawk series has always been a popular mobile option for its feature set and value proposition, and the Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi is no different. The board has 16 plus 1 plus 1 VRM phases, which should provide plenty of stable, clean power to your CPU under all loads. It also features high-quality VR and heat sinks to ensure things don't get too hot to handle when you indulge in some CPU overclocking shenanigans. Speaking of overclocking, while it's not an overclock beast like the Rod Maximus or the Aorus Master, it will be able to handle mild to heavy-ish overclocks like a champ. The memory support is solid too. You can install a maximum of 128GB of DDR5 RAM at 7200 plus megatransfers per second. The MSI Z790 Tomahawk does cut some corners. It features a reinforced PCI eGen 5X16 slot, which is fantastic, but the M2 slots are only rated for PCI E4.0. While the M2 slots aren't the latest and greatest, you do get four of them, along with seven SATA ports. The board also misses out on 10G Ethernet LAN, but makes up for it by giving you onboard Wi-Fi 6E. It's baked in, so you don't have to buy a Wi-Fi card separately, which is nice to have. And while there's no Thunderbolt or USB 4.0 action, there is a handful of USB 3.2 Gen 2 and a Type-C USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 ports for your connectivity needs. For the money, this is an exceptionally well-rounded motherboard. It offers a decent set of features and a clean industrial aesthetic that will go well with any build. Also, it comes with a DDR4 option, if that's something you'd like. At number 5, Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX Motherboard. If you want a well-rounded motherboard that doesn't break the bank, the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Elite AX makes a ton of sense for your latest 13th gen Intel CPU. It features four dim DDR5 slots rated for a maximum capacity of 128 gigabytes and speeds of 7600 megatransfers per second. There's one PCIe 5.0 X16 slot for the GPU, Two of the two slots running at PCIe 4.0 speeds, 6 SATA 6 GB per second ports, plenty of USB ports and headers, 2.5 GB Ethernet LAN, Wi-Fi 6E, and Bluetooth 5.3. The VRMs have a 16 plus 1 plus 2 phase design, which will handle 13th gen CPUs without any issues, both at stock speeds and even when mildly overclocked. Thanks to their large heat sinks, the VRMs stay nice and cool. On the design front, there aren't any over-the-top accents or design elements that stand out. The Gigabyte Z790 AOR US Elite Axe boasts an understated design with black and gray shrouds, which can be a pro or con, depending on whom you ask. Overall, the board is a solid choice under $300. And with that, we come to the end of our review. Thanks for watching.